G'day there, LinkedIn, Daniel Anderson here. Now, uh, I'm sure you've heard of this thing called Microsoft Loop. You may be using Loop components inside Teams chats and things like that. We've got some new functionality that's rolling out that I wanted to showcase to you in this video, and that is the ability to insert Loop components into Word documents now, but it has to be Word online right now. We can, uh, there is an experience if we open up Word documents uh, in the client application, but it's it, it actually just embeds an image and we need to open it up in the browser. So we'll take a look at that as well. Uh, but let's have a look uh, at inserting some components. So we're going to, you can see I'm logged in as Adele. I'm going to create a blank new Word document. All right. So once this fires up, I've obviously created this from the start page. It's going to create it uh, automatically in uh, the OneDrive for business of that logged in user. So I've clicked inside the document. I'm going to click on insert and you can see automatically appearing here in the toolbar between link and online video is this option for loop components. Now, you can see we've only got two options at the moment. We've got checklist and task list, all right? So let's pop in a task list um, and that's going to embed and insert this component into the Word document. We can type and do our things around this component inside the document um, and this is now a living, breathing component of this document. So let's have a look at, uh, let's give this a title. Let's go blog post tasks because we might might be, let's say we're uh, working together uh, creating a draft of a, of a blog post. So we might have an embed a task list in here. So um, uh, let's go create title like so. We might uh, assign this to, let's say, Nesta. All right. So we'll type in uh, at mention, at mention Nesta and we can then uh, assign this task to him. We can give it a due date if we want to as well. Now you can see here, what's really cool about this is that this is going to grant Nesta access to this item automatically. So you can see here, um, by default, because I've just created this document, it's inside my OneDrive for Business, I haven't shared it or anything, so Nesta actually doesn't have access to the document. But I've at mentioned him in the assign part of the, the task in the loop component, and you can see that I can grant, share, and notify him for access, all right? So let's go share and notify. Now, we might also then create, um, uh, let's go draft intro. Now I've got another uh, user that I've got a browser open to. Let's go to mod administrator. So again, let's um, share this grant access to mod administrator. We'll share and notify, and we've got some, some collaboration happening here. All right, so let's have a look at what that looks like on the other end. So I'm going to now log in. Let's open up the email of the user that I've shared this with and see what happens from that side of things. Okay, so I've got the notification email that this document has been sent and what is pretty cool about this is that the loop component is actually extracted from that document and it's embedded into the notification email. So you can see here that this is a loop, it gives me a little notification, this is a loop component um, and I've got it and I can actually, um, um, do some work and interact with this loop component directly from the Outlook email, even though this component is embedded into the document itself. So I don't even have to open the document. So this is this is really, really good. So now I can tick this off. I don't even have to go into the document. I could click that and open the document if I needed to, but I don't need to. I'm just looking at, uh, at the components here. Now, the great thing about this is it's portable. We can now copy it. We can paste it into a Teams message, for example. So we could copy this component Let's say we're working in Microsoft Teams. So let's fire up a team. I'm logged in as uh, this mod administrator here. Any user, it could be obviously, could be multiple users. It doesn't matter anymore because we've extracted this component out of the document and we can now take that and put that into a couple of different um, types of endpoints. And no matter where we're doing our collaboration, we can take this live component with us and then we can always interact with that component regardless regardless of where we're, uh, where we're seeing it. So here we are in Microsoft Teams. Now I might be starting a group conversation. So we might be uh, collaborating and, and talking to each other about this blog uh, draft that we're creating in Word. And what we could do is maybe potentially now that I've copied the link to that loop component, 
we might want to paste that loop component into this Teams conversation or this Teams chat that we're having. So we'll paste it in there. It's now extracted again from the, the Word document, but now we're integrating and we're looking at it inside of this context of Microsoft Teams. So we'll wait for that to sync. So you can see there it is there. Now I might add a task inside here. Uh, let's go to uh, paragraph one, let's say, and let's assign this to um, Adele, right? So let's assign this to Adele. We can do the at mention, got to remember the at mention here. We'll assign that to Adele. We can select a uh, due date like so. Now, if I drag this across, Right, let's get out of Teams now and I'll pop this across. I'm logged into the Word document as Adele and I've got this uh, task, it's live, it's inside this component. Now what about that email? So that, that notification email that this user got, let's have a look at what happens there. So you can see here also in the body of this email, I've now got that as well, all right? So regardless of where that component is being consumed from, I can interact with it like it's, uh, you know, it's this live component. So some really great functionality rolling out with Microsoft Loop. Uh, this is just uh, an example of what is to come. So thanks for watching. Hope that brings you some value and I'll see you next time.